All right, welcome back. So we are now three days into the Western European qualifiers and we have gone from 12 teams initially down to just six. And of those six teams, two of which have already qualified for the last chance qualifiers at the very least, which means we have one final spot remaining with four teams fighting for it. And it's gonna come down to the wire. We have one of the most anticipated series, probably of the entire qualifiers for every region combined tomorrow morning and I'm super super stoked to get into it but before we do that we have to first take a look at how we got here so as I previewed in my Western European bracket preview uh, we kicked things off with four matches in the upper bracket and for the most part I think everything went uh, in one way or another pretty much how we expected uh, Liquid took down DGG in pretty handedly fashion Liquid has been looking very very solid in this tournament so far uh, Goon Squad and Enigma Galaxy uh, I was anticipating that one to be the closest series of the day and I think it was uh, some might argue that the Team Secret series was also pretty close and I can't really argue with that but overall uh, Goon Squad and Enigma Galaxy very closely matched that was a very intense series and Goon Squad does end up pulling ahead uh, we then had Secret taking down Into the Breach again very close uh, but Secret does pull ahead. Nisha, again, fantastic series. Uh, and then finally, we have Entity taking down Alliance, which heading into that, again, Alliance looks really good in Tour 2 in the lower division, got kind of handled in the uh, upper division of Western Europe in Tour number 3, and uh, it did not end up getting any better for Alliance. Uh, for day two, we had four lower bracket matches. All of our teams that lost up top were then playing the very next day. And this was for elimination. If you lose at any point in this tournament ahead of this line right here that I've illustrated, you are not going to TI whatsoever. So kicking things off, we had DGG versus Ivy. And DGG actually managed to pull ahead there. So they did uh, manage to salvage after that loss in the upper bracket. Same thing for uh, Enigma Galaxy, who took a close series win over Brame. Uh, some of those games weren't as close, mainly Game 3 wasn't as close as maybe we were expecting, especially with how great Game 1 and Game 2 were. Uh, but regardless, Enigma Galaxy does make it through, uh, which was a nice sigh of relief, because honestly, Enigma Galaxy, it feels like for the past couple years, every time things start to look like they're going well, they just all of a sudden don't. So I was kind of expecting Enigma Galaxy to just flunk out of the tournament right there and act all shocked. Um, but to their credit, they did actually pull through. Uh, we then had Into the Breach taking down Water Rune. Uh, I wasn't expecting this series to be as close as it was, but Water Rune, to their credit, put up a hell of a fight. And then finally, Team Bald upsetting Alliance. And I say upsetting kind of loosely, because again, Alliance has had a pretty rough run. Um, but it's Team Bald overall. And so it was a pretty fun series. Game 3, um, again, what a performance specifically from Pablo. But Team Ball as a whole, they really deserve that win in Alliance. Again, a lot of question marks heading into next season. This is clearly a rebuild around Nico Baby that hasn't worked. And for Alliance, it's really just been a lot of lukewarm rosters, lukewarm results. Uh, the only shining light I can really see in the past few years for Alliance has been that one season um, at the start of the DPC last year where I think they finished first place. But then it was revealed that they had a coach helping them out in-game for those games so you know take that how you will but regardless uh they've got some work to do heading into this off season following that for day three we kicked things off uh with some matches in the upper bracket we had liquid taking on goon squad and uh yeah liquid did pretty damn well liquid again has been playing fantastic which i've stressed i, I talked about it in my preview liquid is very very good online their main issue has been at local tournaments where they have gone winless on the main stage so for liquid as long as they're able to keep up with that consistency, that should get them to spot to TI. But if they're not able to fix their land performances, what good will it be? Following that, we had Entity taking down Secret 2-0 as well. Uh, sending Secret down to the lower bracket where they will now face Nigma Galaxy, who are fresh off of a win over DGG. That was not a close series. That was just an absolute dumpstering of a series. But it does mean now that either Kuroki or Puppy are not going to TI, and we're going to be figuring that out uh, tomorrow at, uh, I believe it's 10 a.m. GMT, 4 a.m. Eastern Time. I am going to be watching that one live because I am not going to be missing this. Uh, it's either Kuroki ends up getting another chance to make it to TI. It's not even like if he wins this, he goes to TI. No, this is just a one part of the qualifier. Or Puppy wins, and he has a chance to continue his streak at TI, being the only player to have attended every single TI up to this point. So a lot of stakes on the line, and again, with just the ups and downs that these, these teams have had throughout the past uh, year or so. Enigma Galaxy, it's been a little bit longer than that. Secret was really consistently dominant before that. Um, but yeah, this is... 
This is going to be really, really intense. So I'm super looking forward to that. We then also had finally the last series of the day for day number three into the breach, taking down Bald 2-0. That one also uh, was not a very close series. It was a day of two O's for day three. It was not a whole lot of close series. Uh, but regardless, this bracket is shaping up to be uh, one of the most entertaining ones. Uh, for these qualifiers for TI. So again, taking a look at our bracket, we have Liquid and Entity in the upper bracket finals with their two series wins in the upper bracket. They have clinched a spot at the very least in the last chance qualifiers, which means that that's a little bit of a sigh of relief, but again, they haven't gotten to TI yet. They need to win the grand finals, which are best of five. And in the lower bracket, Sacred versus Naven Galaxy, Goon Squad versus Into the Breach. The winners will face each other, and the winner of that series tomorrow, again, every series here written in pink, is happening tomorrow, and the winner of that one will be the last team to qualify for the last chance qualifiers, which is super, super exciting. Uh, and then finally, on day five, we will have our lower bracket finals and our grand finals, where we will know the Western European attendee. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Who do you have coming out of this lower bracket? Who do you think wins the upper bracket finals? Who do you think wins it all? I will be doing a brief review uh, at the end of this whole thing. So I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying this donut as much as I am. It's been really nice. Bye.